Hey, what up legends, how's it going? Today for a daily deck showcase, we are going to be playing a beautiful control hunter list that was created by a legendary hunter, Karen. Uh, the guy has been legend multiple times and he has been improving on his control hunter archetype um, since beta, basically. Um, and this is his penultimate version of control hunter. We're going to have a lot of fun while doing so. He has created a beautiful guide explaining every single card, every single matchup, mulligan section, card replacements. Everything you need to know about Hunter in general is going to be in there. So if you are actually uh, trying to improve your win rate and climb the ladder with Hunter, this is definitely the deck for you. Now, before we actually do get into anything, um, there is a giveaway today on the channel. I'm giving away two bundles of 15 Hearthstone card packs. If you're interested in getting those for yourself, sub to the channel. Make sure that it, you know that you're subbed so that way you can actually be eligible for that giveaway. And I also want you to um, leave a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know what you think of um of this deck it is rather unique it plays a lot of different cards that you wouldn't usually see in uh in every single hunter list but uh it actually is quite appreciated okay i can go for that uh, this deck is quite interesting as it is pretty powerful but you won't see it very often on the ladder it is kind of unique in its own way um I'm gonna keep everything here. I would love to be able to get the early Archmage Vargoth. And this is not super powerful. Uh, you'd also like to get like a Masked Contender so you can uh, proc off of your Rat Trap or something early. Also, Rat Trap is definitely something you get in order to deal against rogues. It is super powerful because of the lackeys. And so, yeah. Um, the first thing that you'll notice about this is that it's not really a full beast deck, nor is it a full mech deck. It is kind of in between, um, and it isn't, it isn't really a full spell hunter deck either. It contains the best of the cards from each different uh, approach in order for you to actually um, achieve what you want to do. Um, the main problem of a control approach to hunter is card draw. Um, and I, I'm kind of reading what uh, Karen is saying here. Um, so what you really need is high card value and a lot of ways to either draw or save cards. So you should really play this deck passively uh, for the most part. Um, in general, you mulligan for low cost, obviously, and, and very defensive cards. And, and then um, the board control until your opponent runs out of steam. And then you have three big threats. Uh, one is the Unleashed Beast from Zul'jin. Second one would be Mechanical Webs with nine lives. And then the third one would be Verisa Windrunners and a few Rapid Fires. Now, that's not always going to happen. But when it does happen, oh, it's pretty glorious. Now, I'm playing against a Bomb Warrior. It is going to be a little complicated. Um, but the strength in this deck is its um, flexibility, its adaptability. Um, you have multiple different answers to multiple different situations. Um, this deck packs a punch in the way it actually handles different decks. Um, so it can be good against... Oh my god, are you serious there? It can be good against a... Um, rogue as it can be also good against control warrior so but so we'll but in, in very different ways so we'll see what we can do here and we did draw a card from Ursatron. um i have to play mark shot get rid of this get a spell i believe we are going to i mean bestial rat is okay i believe we'll take a, a uh a kill command and my opponent's putting bombs in my deck that's a little annoying it's a little frustrating not much we can do here. Now, something interesting that we could do would be turn 7, Archmage Vargoth into uh, Animal Companion. That'd be pretty good. Oh, dude, this this guy is all about putting bombs in my deck. So we, I feel like we'll have to kill him before we actually pull them. Um, which isn't too good. Animal Companion. Okay, we get Huffer. We get the coin. Uh, good thing I took that kill command. Because it's going in. 
Um, and yeah, now we just need our opponent to actually run out of steam. I can get a secret from Mask and Tinder to pull out. I doubt my opponent's going to play three cards in the same turn right now. Um, and then I can also play Ursatron or the, uh, you know, the deadly shot if my opponent plays something big. But we'll see. But I'm keeping the Animal Companion for the turn seven. That's for sure. I want to get multiple uh, uses out of this. Plus, it sets me for a neat little Unleash the Beast, which is going to give me two copies of the other Unleash the Beasts, which could technically happen. This dude is not joking around with those bombs. I've got five in my deck right now. That is really bad. If he's got Dr. Boom, I'm straight up screwed. Oh, this is neat. Um, let's go Mass Contender. Get a secret out. This is a freezing trap. And then play Ursatron. Pass the turn. He can kill the Ursatron. Um, that would actually get me the Mechanical Whelp or the Spider Bomb. I'd rather get the Mechanical Whelp, to be honest, since I've got Houndmaster Shaw. We'll really see what comes up here. I'm kind of scared of Dr. Boom. Both of them, actually. I mean, it is the turn for them, so... I don't really like that. But there's a very high chance that we actually get where we need to be, so... We'll see. Come on, man. Come on, warrior, you've... It's not like this is very complicated, right? You've got a wrench, you smack my bear, and then you put down something on the board, right? Okay, apparently that is not how we do it, but I have freezing traps. That goes back to his hand. He wasted a turn. I'm pretty happy about that. What else does he have? I've got six bombs in my deck. I could straight up die at any moment. You should have shield slam first, my dude. Wow. Okay, so first things first. Archmage Vargon. Second thing. Animal Companion. Oh, it's always Huffer. Oh, that is glorious. It is not always Huffer. Almost. Okay, so we're getting a board now. Uh, he does have to kill Vargoth, or else he's in big trouble. I've got the Unleash. I can Deadly Shot if he plays more than one thing on the board. Um, overall, this is very good for me. I really appreciate Unleash. And, in a sense, Archmage Vargoth kind of acts like a smaller Zul'jin, because Zul'jin is going to cast everything you played during the game. Archmage Vargoth is just going to guarantee you the same card you played during that turn, and you can get more minions that way, which is awesome. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go for... I personally would have went for Leoc, but okay. Trading into Uffer. Um, that's fine. I'll just unleash and just make your life a little bit more complicated. And here is when I die to like five bombs in a row. Oh wait, it does not give me a second copy. But I casted it. Science. Okay, now we know that that doesn't work like that. Wait, no, it does. I've got, there it is. Okay, never mind. So I keep this guy. Does not really do much. Oh! <laughs> Rat trap, my dude. Oh, I'm starting to take bombs to the face. Don't like that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is going to just play Houndmaster Shaw. Um, to kind of put some pressure on the guy. I've got 8, 10... Um, I'm going to just play the Rat Trap. Hero Power. Deal 10 to my opponent. This is a dire situation for him. I doubt he can deal 18 damage from hand. That would be unheard of. Um, he can deal, you know, 3 damage from hand, and then I take 3 bombs in a row. That is a possibility. I would eat my cap. But, you know. 
Fuck that guy. <laughs> Yeah, the um, the boy is a little scared. Oh, he's getting some armor. Okay, I was gonna say the boy, the Houndmaster is a little scary. Also, you can't really kill the Doom Rat, even though you do get some armor. It's not, you know, the the rat, the the rat isn't dead. Yeah, you get six armor, which is good. Uh, it just gets countered by the rat, and then I get the other rat. But that's a big well blade for me. Um, rat trap is a really good card. And we have exact lethal on board. Well played, sir. <laughs> They're rats. They're more powerful than you'd expect. They are definitely a blast to play with. Um, not a pun about the amount of bombs I had in my deck. It is just something I really think about those rats. They are pretty powerful and I do love seeing them in action. People do not expect them for the most part, so I like it. Now we have Zul'jin. Now this is a showcase. Um, I sh I should be keeping Zul'jin just for the showcase. I am playing against what I believe is a token druid. And as such, I will not keep Zul'jin. That would just be a dead card in my hand. I will, on the other hand, keep the Red Trap, which could be uh, extremely powerful against a druid. Um, but I will not play it immediately. I think at first I'm going to play the Snake Trap. Then Ursatron, so that way if he attacks into it, you know, trades and what I'm drawing all of my secrets, which I don't know if is good or bad. Um, I don't like too much. Okay, it's not explosive. You got that. It's not. It's not uh, freeze. You got that. That's good. Oh, mass contender. But mass contender would give me. Uh, it would give me freeze, guaranteed. And I don't need freeze right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Because freeze on whatever his board is right now does not achieve anything. What shall we hunt? Oh, I get a rat. Check this out. I get a, I get a rat right here. That is really good. Wait, do do I not? No, wait, no. I've got both rats in my hand. Oh shit! I could have had, I could have gotten a rat right there. Oh, now I'm really sad. Um, I will have to do this. I will have to mass contender, which puts down a freezing trap, so it's gonna slow the guy down just a little bit. Um, fuck! I could have gotten a rat already. That would have been great. Okay, so that's gone. Question is, does he shapeshift to actually kill the Ursatron? That's a good question. No, he swipes. Ah. I guess Zilliax happens? But the question is, do I want a Zilliax immediately? The answer is, yes, I do. I don't want to die quite yet. So I'll heal for three. I'll potentially heal for another three um, then I've got snakes which don't do much but are still snakes um, and after that if he does ever kill his acorn bear I'm gonna have to uh, put down the rat trap guaranteed I don't like the fact that my opponent did have a swipe that kind of sucks not gonna lie Wrath. Uh, not, not only does not does it kill. Not only does it kill Zilliax and not heal me for three, but it also does not proc the snakes, which pisses me off to no avail. Um, do not like. Do not like. I will safeguard and kind of protect myself. Hopefully the snakes pop. Hopefully the acorn bear dies and he does not play the boat squirrels right now. 
And I, now that I think about it, the snakes, it's not that really good. I mean, that thing has one health, so it doesn't actually matter that much. Oh, she's gonna get a lot of value there. I did get my snakes, though. So he's getting treants. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play Houndmaster Shaw. I guess I'll play the Rat Trap. Um, and then I'll kill this. Just to proc it so I do get the Rat Trap eventually. I feel like he's gonna want to pump up everything that he's got. I might also just be dead. Straight up. Um, if he's got Savage Roar, I'm dead. Just saying. If he has Savage Roar, I am dead. And you never want to see that. Yuck. Okay, he doesn't know if that is explosive, though. So does he want to trade or does he want to take a chance? Or does he want to play Vargoth? That's a squirrel. That is a... Wait, I only played two cards. Ah, interesting. Um... So I guess I can Vargoth. I guess I can Spider Bomb. Um... I guess we'll... Kill this, we'll kill this, we'll kill this. Hope it hits the Vargoth. It does, which is nice. I really do appreciate that. Um, I'm still fucked, like, a lot, but... Oh yeah, so I'm very much fucked. Um, the contender gives me seek. It gives me freezing trap. Unleash the beast. Okay, so I can kill a couple of these. Freeze one. So I'm not straight up dead. I get in other wyvern, I guess, which is good. Um, still pretty much dead. Also, he doesn't know if it's explosive. So does he actually try to go face? Good question. He does. Um, again, I, I would like to repeat that I'm still dead to Savage Roar, Free your mind from which could happen at any moment. Oh yeah, I'm very dead. Because I don't have any way to heal apart from Zul'jin, um, so without Zul'jin, that's, that's out of the gate. I'm at one. Right? Could do one he can do one damage to me. You think he can't do one damage to me? He can absolutely do that. Well, wait a second. First thing I'm gonna do is to actually um I'm gonna kill this. Next, I got nine lives. I'll get a safeguard, and then I'll play safeguard, and then I'll get nine lives to proc again, and I've got two taunts on the board. If he gets swipe, I guess I'm mega dead. Um, huh. But if not, I've got lethal on board. That's not a swipe. <laughs> I can't believe I win this. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe I win this. That is what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about winning at Hearthstone. That was an absolutely ridiculous game. That we managed to pull off there. Um... Neat is what I'm going to say about this, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. 
I'll play a quick last one. Um, dude, the control on that was top shape. Like, you could not have done... I don't, I don't think there was a way that we could have done better uh, as far as control went on this one. I tried to get rid of everything that he had as efficiently as possible. You need to do that against, uh, against Druid and Hunters. Um, and potentially Shamans. Like, just get rid of literally everything. Um, I like that. That was a lot of fun. Well, I'm talking about Shamans. Here's one. Now, there's two decks that he could be playing. One would be... Um, Murlocs. The other... I don't know if I want two rapid... I'll keep one rapid fire. One would be Murlocs. The other one would be, like, Hyper Control Shaman. I'm assuming he's gonna go for the second option. And so I'm going to... See what we can do here. Um, I'm going to coin out... I'm gonna coin out Rapture. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't want to waste any mana, so... And I've got, you know, two traps, so I can play them back to back. Might as well. Oh yeah, there it is. Totems. He starts with totems, that most likely means that he's playing control. So we'll see what we can do with this. Um, maybe we get to surprise him with the rat trap eventually, that could be pretty nice. Neural spirits? Interesting. Um, ooh, we get the subject 9, so we're gonna get some more secrets. Unfortunately, he can kill both of these, but... I mean, he can kill both of these. He can kill the Leoc. Um, but I do get snakes, so I can I can attack, and also I have rapid fire, so that's not bad either. And I can keep my snakes alive with the rapid fires. So overall, pretty good. That's a deadly shot. Don't feel like I want to do that right now. So we're gonna go one, two. Three, four. Might as well. Um, subject nine next turn, guaranteed. He's got five mana. So he's not exactly playing the control deck I thought he would. It seems like he's playing more of an overload deck, which is most likely going to be running Bloodlust. So we do truly have to get rid of absolutely everything that this guy comes up with. In my opinion. Good thing, good news. I'm drawing three three cards from this. Um, there's only three different secrets. Um, that effectively means that I have drawn every single secret in my deck. And that also means that the Mask Contender is worth jack shit. Um, so that kind of sucks. But at the same time, you know, I'm not going to say no to this. It's pretty good. He's taking damage, but I'm not trying to kill him immediately. I'm not too worried. Um, I do appreciate the Unleashed Beast here, though. He can kill this so he does not have um, that lifesteal anymore. Okay, Swamp Queen. Neat. Okay, it's more like of a temple, temple bloodlust deck type thing. I see. Question is, can I kill this and the... Nope, no, okay. do Archmage Varga... Yeah, you know what? I can technically Archmage Varga... Excuse me, that's not what I wanted to do. I can Archmage Varga guarantee I kill the Swamp Queen here, so... I'm not mad. It's gone. Swamp Queen is gone. It leaves me with an empty board with an Archmage Vargoth on it. That is good. That is definitely something you want to see. And you want to know what I'm going to play next if it leaves? I'm going to play the Unleashed Beast and a Hero Power. Don't want to play a secret. Secrets with Vargoth don't work. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to do that anymore. Secrets with Vargoth are not very interesting. Well, I can put down a Snake Trap here. Um, so, Snake Trap. Unleash. Not going to kill it. I want him to proc my snakes. We'll let him do that. Come on, just practice snakes. 
just do it. Get get some get get give me some snakes. Yes. Thank you for the snakes. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That is very nice of you. Okay, so we've got the snakes. Um now the goal is. I should not have played this unleashed to be session. I believe I should have played this one. Really. So now he's just gonna kill my snakes. Never mind, he is not. He's not gonna kill my snakes. Um, I'm going to play this. I do like Goblin Prank. I also do really like Multi Shot. Multi Shot's pretty good. Um, I think I'll play take Multi Shot because. I feel the type of deck that the guy is running. And it feels like a deck that would actually benefit from you um, having a lot of minions on board. So multi-shot's gonna like slow him down in a sense. Which is really good for us. Hurt my cool. That's a freezing trap, my dude. That's gone. Um, and then that is here. Does he play another card? Does not yet. So I'm not getting my rat. I'm not getting my rat. I'll go unleash. Kill this. Hero power pass. Don't want to hunt Master Shaw. I could have played Shaw, but the goal with Shaw is to Shaw Mechanical Whelp. Let's all be honest. I want to get a big dude coming out um, and be able to rush with it. Like that. That is what I'm talking about. That is perfect. Okay. So, there is the potential of me taking a bajillion damage here. I think I'll do this. Um, I really need to go ahead with this. So, attack here. Get this going. Kill one. He's got four minions on the board. I doubt that's enough. Even with Bloodlust to kill me. That's plus 12. He's got 5. That's 17. 20. No, that's not enough. Question is, does he kill the Mechanical Dragon? Other question is, Verisa Windrunner next turn, and then later on Multi-Shot. Is that good? My gut tells me that it is. Um, but we'll see. Because that's, what, 5 damage on 2 things? It's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. Right, okay. Well, in that case, that bloodlust is happening pretty darn soon. Don't want to see it. Don't want to deal with it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be Verisa. So she comes in. We're going to kill this frog with it. We're going to play the freezing trap to kind of remove the toad, I guess. That's one less thing I have to deal with. Yeah, I believe Multi-Shot could be very powerful. Goodbye, Toad. You will not be missed. Ah, Walking Fountain. Okay, the Walking Fountain is gone. Well then, um... I will kill this very specifically. I will um, play Unleash. I'll attack. I'll hero power. He's out of everything. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with this. Um, we don't want our opponent to have jack shit on his board. So we're doing we're doing a pretty decent job there. Uh, I, 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 I do appreciate that. 
Okay, that didn't kill it, did it? That did not kill it. Oh no, you have a little... Okay, yeah, no, he's, he's killing. Okay, he's killing it. But guess what? I've got a rat. Aha, you, I got you there, huh? You didn't, you didn't see that rat coming, did you? Um, I believe here we are going to play Safeguard, as well as the Nine Lives. Get another Mechanical Wealth, get a 7-7, seven, seven. go face. I'm going to keep multi-shot. I mean, the, 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 the weapon tore down for multi-shot. Five damage is a lot. Um, it is quite appreciated. And don't don't forget, we're playing a control deck, so this is fine. You sure you don't want to kill this? I mean, you can kill the safeguard just trading into it and all, but I get another taunt, and it'll be a little bit more complicated for you to get to the rat. I don't know. Okay. Then you can kill it, but not much happens. I'm confused. What is this guy doing? What is this guy doing? Also, gain spell damage this turn while I have this. Um, this could be funny. The guy just left. Alright, we got him pretty good there. And just remove the opponent's board. Um, that should lead you to victory. That's pretty much it for me today, boys. I've had a lot of fun with this deck. It seems to be absolutely powerful on the ladder right now. So I'll continue playing more of this. Um, the link for it, obviously, is in the description. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video tonight. Bye-bye.